Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to our uh, YouTube channel. This is John from Semex Code, and this is part two of our payroll management system um, using Java uh, tutorial. So basically, I went ahead and created this form. So from the last video, we set up our um, files, our models, especially our database. So we have here the DB connection right here where we could, you know, connect into our database spe um, specifying the URL, the driver, and of course, the username and the password. So we have here the database as we have um, set up before. So basically, we have uh, one table for now, and it contains uh, several um, attributes. The ID, the first name, the last name, department, or I mean columns, um, position, rate, gender, and address. So we're going to be using this table or this database table. And uh, we're going to um, load all this information into our um, GUI table right here. So as I've said, I went ahead and created this graphical user interface. So this is basically a basic um, uh, graphical user interface. You can see I just added um, a panel, I think. Yeah, panel. And then inside the panel, I added the buttons, text fields, and also the table. So uh, in this case, we're just using the default table, but we can uh, actually use or um, change this, the content of our table. So we have the columns. So now we have like uh, like four columns only but we're gonna be needing like one two three four five six seven eight eight columns for our table because as i've said we're gonna be uh, loading all this information into our graphical user interface table so first off we need um, the id right and this will be um the first name uh, yeah first name and then we have last name right and we have um, department and we'll just add a um, few more columns we have position we have Right. We have the gender here, and also lastly is the address. There you go. So it will change the columns here. Of course, of course, it will reflect all the columns that we have added. Uh, let's just resize this for now, so that we can see the. Uh, information that we will be adding here inside our table so let's just resize this just like that uh, yeah okay so first name last name department position rate uh, gender address and then we have a button right here so basically what what we are trying to do is every time the user clicks on any record here inside our table it should reflect it should populate the data into our text field and uh, combo boxes so we're going to be doing that and uh, later on we will also add the update button right here or, or maybe modify um, if the user decided to modify the information that is being populated here so uh, let's move on to the next part uh, you have to change the variable name for our table so that uh, we'll be able to tell exactly what is the variable name for our table because currently it's just a j table one so let's uh, name it as table um, employees there you go because we're going to be um, referencing that inside our um, class right here so we have method uh, load all employees right here so we're going to be using this load uh, employees method to populate our 
uh, employees into our table. So first off, we have all the employees right here, right? So from the last video, we have implemented this uh, list of all employees currently uh, inside our uh, employee table in our database. So in here, what we could do is um, define our data because um, we need to populate the table. So table employees and then uh, table employees we will set the model for this just like that but uh, this particular method uh, expect one parameter which is a uh, table model so we're going to be def uh, defining that here table model em equals new default table model just like that but uh, in return, this particular class expect um, it expects um, the parameters. Okay, so it expects our data and also the columns for our table. So basically, we define all the columns right here, right now. What we could do is override uh, those columns inside our class. So we will define here an array of our columns. So let's just um, define an object or I mean uh, a variable. And then it should be column names. Because of course, uh, it represent the column names of our table. So of course, we have the ID, we have the first name. So this is basically the same, uh, the same with what we uh, did in this particular table earlier. So we're just uh, redoing it here because we're we we're gonna be needing all the column names. So this is just the representation of the columns, but this is the actual column names that we we're gonna put into the default uh, table model, and um, yeah, so last name there you go we also have department we also have um, position rate gender and address okay uh, this should be address just like that and then we're, we're going to close the statement right here so now we have the column names or the actual column names that we're going to be adding into our table. So again, uh, the default table model expects two parameter, right? For us to um, really populate table inside our graphical user interface. So the first one will be the data, and then we're going to go back into this data later on. But for now, uh, let's specify the column names. Okay, there you go. Now, for our data, uh, the column names is um, is an array, right? Now, the structure for the data is it's actually an array also. But this particular data is, or this particular array is multidimensional. So, uh, it represents the rows and columns for our table. So, data equals new string. And then, um, we will define here the size of our data. So basically, basically the rows and or the number of rows and number of columns of our uh, table. So now we're gonna get the length of our list because of course we're we're concerned of the list. Whatever we are adding into our uh, table is coming from this particular list. So basically, the number of rows depends on the number of, you know, employees inside the list. So that could be um, list that, or I mean, uh, we're using the size of our list. And of course, we have uh, number of columns, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So that's why in here, we need to add um, 8 because that's the number of columns that we are uh, required in order to properly 
um, populate the table inside our graphical user interface. Now, uh, after that one, we will set the table model for our uh, table. So that will be table model right there. Uh, okay. And that should be it. So let's save this. Run our um, mainframe. And we should be getting our um, supposedly employees right here. So we need to um, figure out why it's not uh, here. And basically, we can see the, the output right here. Okay. That's because we haven't added uh, data to our data right here. So what we need is to iterate over the list of course right here so uh, and then add each information or each data coming from our list into our data uh, array so we need to specify the row so that's the first row of our table and the first column okay so um, we're going to be using the index of our um, look there okay so and then we will get the information coming from the list so that will be list that get and then the index uh, that will be um, the variable i okay so it, it really depends on the variable uh, right here and then uh, for example the first column will be the id so basically we're just getting the id from um, our class employee Okay, and then we're going to duplicate this a couple of times, okay, because we have like seven columns, right? Remember? So one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then we need one, seven, okay? Now, this will be the first name. Get first name, okay? get uh, last name the next one will be the department so get department the next one is uh, position get position we also have rate okay and gender get uh, gender so I think we don't have gender, um, get gender method from our employee class. Gender, gender. Ah, okay. So we're using um, the person class, right? Uh, let's check. Yeah. So we have person that holds the gender, right? And uh, we extended that person into our employee class, right? So that's why we having uh, we're we're having an error right here that uh, get rate uh, or get gender is not present. So uh, let's uh, we will review this later on, but for now let's just add um, let's just add a placeholder for our sting right here. So let's just say. Um, gender for now because we will be getting that uh, data coming from our um, person class uh, next one will be uh, address so that would be address right here so get address or yeah we, we don't have also the address inside the employee class but we will review this later on and uh, because we have this uh, address right here um, in our employee class right we have the um, only three attributes the department the position the rate right so uh, we need a way to uh, get the value from our 
parent class or set the um, method for our address for our um, the other uh, attributes such as gender. So as I've said, let's just add um, placeholder for now. So this is address. Just to get um, the overview of our uh, loading of employees into our employees table. Just so we can see the output for now. But yeah, we will change this later on. Um, get rate. Uh, this is because get rate is uh, returns double, I believe. Yeah, it returns double uh, value. So that's why we need, uh, let's just concatenate um, string for now. Okay, so let's run our um, mainframe for now. Okay, so now we have this information, the first name, last name, and other information that we are getting from our uh, database. So it, is, it has been loaded into our uh, table, right? Um, in the next uh, video, we will be talking about, we will be solving this problem right here because uh, we need to get the gender and address also. So, okay, so we will solve that and um, that's all there is to it guys for this particular videos. See you in the next video. Thanks.